Hello, hello, boys and girls, this is Anders Shield, of course, and oh yes, it's time for another Retro Game Gold Nugget video. And uh, as always, it's a game that's five years or almost five years old or older than I personally loved as a kid, teenager or a young adult. Uh, so I do not take requests for games. Remember that, guys, I've seen a lot of you kind of misunderstanding what this series is all about. This is about the games I love to play or at Loved to play recently, basically the last five years old or the or older. <laughs> God, I suck at English sometimes. Uh, but this time we're gonna look at Hitman Codename 47, and this is actually a game brought to us by EO Interactive. Uh, and published by Edios Interactive, basically published and produced by the same company, and it was uh, distributed by Edios Interactive, Valve Corporation, and GameTap. Uh, there were actually a composer called Jesper Kud, uh, and this uh, this is actually made in Finland. So I would say this is one of the best gaming series in the world, and it comes from Finland. You're like. What? Oh yes, the Finnish people know how to do assassin work. Fuck yes. Uh, re release dates was the 19th of September of 2000 in in North America and in Australia and the EU was it was released in Australia the 20th of September 2002 and in EU the 23rd of September 2003. So uh, kind of strange how it was released so far but apart, but yeah. Very very strange, and this is a very very old game as you you might can see. I mean, it's it's fucking twelve years old, so the quality is not that great. The handling of the game is not that great, but it is a great game, and it was awesome. Oh my god! <laughs> Red is for bad guys. Yeah, you sound like a bad guy. <laughs> so uh, what uh, what does this game uh, basically? What is the plot? Uh, basically, you're a clone, one of many. This is something you will realize later in the game. So this is kind of a, uh, this is kind of a spoiler alert. But it, it will basically end up with you killing your master slash your creator, the guy you actually hear in the background right now. So uh, yeah, uh, I would say it's a it's a strange game. There there never really has been another game like it, to be real honest. At least in my opinion, and. Um, some fairly strange gaming mechanics too. It never really, you never really control the the hitman character as you control other characters. And uh, you can't, for example, walk backwards in this game. It's either walk quickly or walk slowly forwards. <laughs> so in that matter, it is very very strange. Uh, but I gotta say, I love this game. I loved having to sneak around, and I gotta say. Oh my god, it's a lot easier than I remember it being, because as a kid, uh, let's see, you know, how old were I? I think I was 12 when I played this the first time. Uh, I think I played the demo and then I actually got it from Pirate Bay. <laughs> At least I believe so, I'm not really 100% sure, but uh, either way, I, I thought that, oh my god, I gotta show this game off. So I picked it up on Steam during the, the Christmas sale, I think I got all three games for like... 10 euros or something like that and or all three games uh, three of the three first games so to say and i'm probably gonna do a uh, retro game gold nugget videos of those two since i got them uh, i'm not really planning on playing them a lot since uh, i played them quite a lot already uh, but it, this game has fairly unique mechanics that basically no other games has no other spy game slash assassin games has you basically change clothes uh, you can trick guards, you can place bombs, you can poison food, you can basically go away how you kill people in a ton of different ways, especially in the latest games, I mean, you can even push a guy off the fucking stairs so he dies, I mean, there's a ton of different ways to, to complete different missions. Uh, I choose to skip, uh, I showed you guys the, the fir very first part of the game, basically the tutorial right there, I... I I don't think it's that important to see, but ah, uh, what the hell, I thought I'd show you guys it. And also I played a bit more so I could show you guys the second mission, so you can kind of see what it's what it's all about, so to say. And if you like games like this, 
Uh, I strongly recommend the Hitman games. Maybe not the first one, but I would suggest you actually pick up all of them and play them one after one because it's it it kind of gradually gets harder and more complex. So it's better if you start off with the first games who are less complex, that don't have as many mechanics, and then basically move on to the second and the third game and the fourth game, and I think there's a fifth game coming out very very soon, so that's also one of the reasons I'm making this video. I think I think a lot of you guys are going to want to see how the first games looks like uh, before you buy the, the very new game, because a lot of you guys are young, like I was when I first played this, and you don't want to spend your, your hard earned allowance or your hard earned money if you're a working man like myself, uh, you you don't want to spend your money on something that might be crap, so I'm gonna try to kind of explain to you guys what, what kind of games these are, and they're definitely not crappy games, I mean, the Hitman games are extremely fun, extremely entertaining, uh, you can always just go on a rampage killing every fucking body on the map, and still finish most of the missions, uh, but you will get less paid, you will, you will get like uh, warrants and stuff like that, maybe not in this game, but in later games, so to say, uh, but uh, something I love to do is just do that, go on a fucking rampage, uh, buy all the guns before I start, and uh, if I do fail a mission a bunch of times, I just take out my frustrations on killing innocent people and, and just mowing down everybody, and I mean everybody, <laughs> and uh, most Hitman games, you can actually, uh, you can actually make more money. The more more secretive you are, the less people have seen you, uh, the less people you kill or drug, and uh, basically, the more quiet you are, uh, the better. The more money you will get, and the cooler guns you will be able to buy. But to be all honest, it doesn't really matter because even if you are very quiet and get a lot of money, the only satisfaction you get is just to be quiet, because buying more guns doesn't, you don't really need that, because you can always strangle a guy in, an, <laughs> in a fucking alley and then take his gun, like, just like I'm gonna do with this sore, sore sucker, or, or unlucky sucker, I'm gonna strangle him while he's peeing. <laughs> I mean, which game can you do that? Strangle someone when they're peeing and then take their clothes, drag them and dump them in a sewer drain. <laughs> I mean, this is some sick shit. But as I said, the gaming mechanics aren't perfect, so I'm struggling right here with trying to dump him in the fucking hole. I'm like, creepity crap, god damn it, why you not go inside the hole? God damn it. But I finally get him inside. There we go. Finally. I let go of him. Let him float al alongside with his fellow dirts or turds, I don't know. <laughs> so I got myself a car bomb right here, I I don't actually remember using this, I when I was a, as a kid I actually killed everybody instead in this, in this map, because it doesn't matter if you kill everybody here, uh, since there's a fair amount of people you have to actually kill, but as a grown up I actually realized that, wait a second, I can just place the car bomb and then explode it right next to the uh, to the <laughs> to, to the guys who are all, so who I'm also supposed to kill. I'm basically supposed to kill uh, the leader and all of the other guys who look just like that. You can see them there in the corner. And I'm just gonna skip this little part of the video so it doesn't become too long. Right to the explosion part. Let's see here. So we can skippy skippy. Here we go. I see the car coming. I basically were running a bit. Take up the detonator and kaboom. Everybody's dead. Everybody's happy. But for some reason I realized it was me who blew up the cars. I don't know. But I, I, I still managed to, to finish the mission so to say. <laughs> Uh, so, what can I say? I mean, I strongly recommend you buying this game, especially if you have a crappy PC and you can't really enjoy uh, most of the new games, because this is cheap, uh, and it's gonna give you a lot of enjoyment, and this is actually the start of another mission, this is just to fill out the time, so to say. But as usual, thank you guys for watching this uh, retro Game Gold Night video, I'm gonna make sure to bring you guys a lot more with a lot uh, more other great games I loved as a kid. Just remember, I do not take requests, you can always recommend games, and if I remember that I loved it, I will play it, but I do not take requests, so thank you guys for watching, have a wonderful day, bye bye.